For this part, you're going to need two phones and one of our laptop computers. If you have any issues listening to our guide, there's an online manual at the FTC website. Just go to ftcinspires.org and then go to Blocks Program Training Manual. All right, so the next part we're gonna talk about is how to get the actual apps onto each of the phones, the driver's station and the robot controller. Uh, the game manual tells you that you're supposed to like connect your phones to Wi-Fi and Google, go to the Google Play Store and download it from there while signing in. But with our generation phones, we've found it hard to sign into the Wi-Fi, our school's Wi-Fi. So us and all the other teams that we worked with had to take our phones to the uh, tech person at the school and he remotely uh, put the apps on the phones via his computer. So you're probably gonna have to do that unless you can find a different way to sign into the Wi-Fi or the Google Play Store. The first step once you have all the electronics that you need is decide which phones are gonna be used as a driver station, which phones are gonna be used as the robot controller. So once you have um, just that decided, you're gonna to go into settings on your two phones, turn off or turn on airplane mode on both phones, and you're gonna turn on Wi-Fi. So when you turn on Wi-Fi, you're gonna to have to disconnect from any Wi-Fi networks that the phones are connected to. Once that happens, you go to Wi-Fi Direct on each phone. This will pop up a screen where it gives you the ability to rename your device. So for the phone that you decide is gonna be the robot controller, you're going to name it your team name, followed by a dash with RC, and the phone that you decide to be your driver station is going to be named your team name followed by a dash D DS. After that's decided, you're going to, it's going to show up as peer devices or available devices. You're going to click um, connect to the device and it should send an invitation to the next phone. These phones are already connected, so it's already connected, but it will send an invitation and you click accept. So once the apps are downloaded onto the phones, you're going to have to go into settings. You're going to find the apps. So make sure that you write down which phone is going to be for the driver station, which one's going to be the robot controller. So you're going to open the apps on both of these phones. On the phone that is the device, um, is the driver station, you're going to go into settings. You're going to click connect with robot controller. And Make sure that you turn on filter Wi-Fi devices and it should give you your um, Wi-Fi direct pair of the other phone. So you click that and once it's um, connected you should hear a little dinging sound that lets you know that's connected. Um. Next, in order to connect the controllers to the phones, you're going to need one dongle which we have attached to our USB hub. You're also going to need one of these. The reason we have this attached in red tape is because this is a very important part and it gets moved around a lot. So we had issues with it coming loose sometimes and we needed to make sure that it stayed sta uh, stable throughout the whole like playing stage. Next you you're going to need one or two controllers. And I believe the game rules say for this year you're allowed to have up to two drivers but you only need one obviously. You can't have no drivers. But all you're going to do is you're going to make sure the dongle is attached to the USB hub and then you're just going to plug the USBs from the controllers into the USB hub. Once you've done that, the next thing you have to do to pair the controllers is when everything's set up, you're going to have to press start and then A. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to have to plug the uh, controllers into the phone first. So you're going to find your, your uh, driving station one. You're going to plug it into the hole in the side, which they're really annoying to try and get right. All right, there you go. And then once you're to that point, you're going to take your controller and you're going to hold start and press A and that'll be your controller one or driver one. And then for the next one, you're going to go start and then B. And as you can see, that's going to be your uh, driver one and driver two.